Hello and welcome to another Murders at Karloff Manor Draft. I'm Paul Chion and we dropped the rank. We dropped the rank. Um, we were ranked number three and now we are ranked number four. After a stream yesterday, we went four and three and six and three. So that's ten and six, but we're still going down. So there's, this is a vicious race for, I think, third place. I haven't touched two. And at this point, let's just assume that one is probably just a pipe dream. Just because I'm not sure we're going to get there with Ekin. I'm assuming with a very, very sizable lead. But still going to give it a shot here. Now, before I click this ready button, I do want to say, if you've enjoyed this content and you wanted to support this channel, the best way to do so would of course be to subscribe but outside of that i do have a patreon channel the link is in the description below shout out to all the current patrons really do appreciate your support clicking ready and let's see if we can open something nice we're due right we're due maybe okay let's take a look at this pack and a few options here. We have Homicide Investigator, which is an excellent value creature. It's a two mana 2-2. Two -two. When one of your non-token creatures die, investigate. And this happens once per turn. It's basically a two mana cold case cracker for all your creatures. There's Gleaming Gear Drake, which is fantastic. Uh, this is just one of the premier uncommons, especially in blue-red, that you can take. And then there's also Push-Pull, which is a pretty nice finisher. Uh, you really want to be red or black to play a card like this. Primarily red. It's good in red-white as well. So what do I want to take? Do I want to take the good rare that's black, which is a color that I want to avoid, or do I take the Gleaming Gear Drake with a very high probability that it's not going to make my deck? You know, I've drafted a lot of blue-red. I've drafted a lot of blue-red, and I haven't drafted a lot of black. I'm doing something that I don't recommend necessarily doing. That is first picking a black card. I believe the gear trick was made probably the correct pick there, but I took the investigator because it's a cool rare and it's also powerful. Now I'm going to take Galvanize out of this pack. So I think I would have taken Galvanize regardless. There's a case of the Filch Falcon, which is pretty cool in the artifact deck and a Thundering Falls. So a lot of good cards for the potential artifact deck, but I'm going to take Galvanize as I do think it's the best card in this pack and uh, see where things go. This, however, is a fairly weak pack. There's no good red card in this pack. And, I mean, there's no great card in general. Uh, if I'm looking at the black cards, it's Unscrupulous Agent and Persuasive Interrogators. If I wanted to draft a more mid-rangey, not super aggro-ish black deck, Unscrupulous Agent can be pretty good in those decks. So, I guess I'm just going to take it. I guess I'm going to take it, try to cut off the black. There's not. I mean, I think Unscrupulous Agent is a pretty decent card in general. Um... It's just, I don't draft black very often. And it's definitely very, very good with a card like the Homicide Investigator. Okay, that's a long goodbye. That's a long goodbye. So black definitely feels to be pretty open. Clandestine Meddler is also decent. Um, I like it more if I'm trying to be a little more aggressive. Now, of course, we can end up being a deck that's more aggressive. But I do think long goodbye is enough better that I want to take this. It's just a really, really great, efficient removal spell that allows you to trade up on mana. Now, be careful with this, though. When you target a face-down creature late in the game, and they have a bunch of mana up, they can just fizzle this by flipping over their card. So you do have to be careful with when you play this, but I think I want to continue cutting off the black here and take Clandestine Meddler. I do think... Oh, excuse me, Long Goodbye, but I do think the Clandestine Meddler could be a consideration. Still trying to figure out what our second color should maybe be. Ooh, Push-Pull in black-red seems amazing. So maybe I just go ahead and take that. There's nothing great that's in black. Um, Proje Projector Inspector is also a fine option, but blue doesn't seem super open. It could be, but I think push-pull, especially given that we are already just going to be base black, I think this card is just going to be fantastic for us. It's a removal spell splash slash win condition in the late game, so let's try that. Maybe the other one will table. Very unlikely, though. Very, very unlikely. Moving on here, we have Granite Witness as the best creature in this pack. Now, we took a Galvanize, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of other red cards. So, if I wanted to maybe move into blue-black, this could be the opportunity to do so. It would be, uh, I would basically be giving up Toxin Analysis to take something like a Granite Witness, just to have an extra creature. Hmm. You know, I don't, Toxin Analysis is fine, but I think I'm going to take the Granite Witness here. That's, it's a pretty late Granite Witness, so it's telling me that blue could be a potential... A uh, color that's open. Now I'm going to take Fairy Snoop because it's good in a black controlling deck and also also good in blue-black. And this leaves me a little more open here. Oh, that's another Fairy Snoop. All right, blue-black control. 
might be something that we're looking to do here because we're seeing almost no red. There's a Basilica Stalker, but I do think the Fairy Snoop is a superior option. And now a Slice from the Shadows tabled. There's an Unauthorized Exit, which is another card that I like. So, all right. We're doing something different. Don't mind me. That's a late Topiary Panther, and there's a Rift Burst Hellion. I guess in blue-black, there's not really a chance that I'm going to play Case of the Filch Falcon. So I'll still take the Rift Burst Hellion in case we end up in red-black. And kind of tread carefully here. Not really ever going to be green. I'll take the Magnifying Glass, although I'm probably not ever playing that either. Cerebral Confiscation, I don't think is a card I'm ever putting into my deck. And yeah, I mean, unsurprisingly, black was super duper open and our second color could maybe be red. All right, so let, or blue. So we'll put our face down cards here. That's our three drop. And then this is, these are kind of our flex cards, right? It could be red or blue, but it, even just the black cards alone gives us um, seven black cards that we'd be pretty happy playing. Judith, you've heard me talk about Judith in the past. I do think it's mostly a trap, and we don't know that red is our second color. That's another Gleaming Gear Drake. Oh, what could have been? But red wasn't that open, remember. Glint Weaver is a great green card. Makeshift Binding is a great white card. Eavesdropper, another great green card. Um, I do like the deuce in my blue-black control decks, but I think I'm just going to take the murder here. Uh, just because I know for sure this is going to make my deck. And if it's the choice between murder and another card in another color, for now, I'm going to take the murder and just see what else is available. Okay, well, I think we are now going to find a second color. I think Lozov is awesome. Maybe we can table the Undercity Sewers. There's two great mana fixing lands here, but this is a phenomenal two drop. And we do have the Fairy Snoops and the Granite Witness. So yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let us weave our fate by going blue-black. <laughs> Sorry, that, that was... Okay, uh, if I wanted to just be black, I could take the Leering Onlooker, but I think Lazav is enough better and also cooler that I'm going to take it here. You can't fault me for taking the cool card, right? All right, we've got actually all detectives. Look at this, one, two, three... We literally have six detectives in blue-black. I'm going to take Projector Inspector here. It looks like it's going to be pretty good here over Unauthorized Exit. We do need to pick up some creatures here after all. A lot of good white cards, Case of the Gateway Express and Novice Inspector here too. All right, what do we have now? Um, Extract a Confession is a really, really good removal spell. There's also an Out Cold, but this definitely feels like a deck where I want to be extracting all the confessions. Um, it looks, I mean, we're looking like we're going to have a good, good number of removal. Uh, so a card like a Undercover Crocodile could be pretty nice as a way to just have a large creature to help us win with in the late game. But for now, I'm still going to prioritize cheap things to do. We have, this is starting out really well. We have Extract a Confession, Long Goodbye, and 3-2 drops. So five things to do on turn two with Push as another potential thing that we wanted to do. Living Conundrum is not something I'm too interested in. Wow, a lot of good green cards here. We didn't see any green in pack one, so that makes sense, along with a Dog Walker. So I'm looking here at Crime Stopper Sprite versus Out Cold. Huh. You know, I have a lot of spells. I'm going to just take a creature here. I do really like Out Cold, but we already have five removal spells. So I'm just taking the Crime Stopper Sprite. It's another detective, and it's a flyer, and maybe that's going to be the way that we win games with flying. So going to take the Crime Stopper Sprite there. And then here I'm going to take um, the Granite Witness over the Bubble Smuggler. I just think this is a really, really great creature. Um, I do like the fact that Bubble Smuggler is a two, but I think we're pretty good on twos right now. We have five, and this just gives me a nice win condition. And I think that's going to be the thing that's a little tricky in blue-black, finding ways to win. And having all these flyers, I think, is a great way to try to close out games. Let's take another murder here. We're going to be very heavy in black. So glad we didn't take the alcohol. <laughs> is black open? I don't know. I can't tell. We have all the removal spells here. All the removal spells. I mean, to be fair, we're not seeing a ton of uh, of red. Or, or blue, rather. This is a... I, you know, I don't think this is a snarling gorehound deck. Ah, I'm not going to take the Judith. What? Ugh. I, I almost swapped. I almost swapped. I'll take Repeat Offender as a two. I don't really like Agency Outfitter. 
Although, you know what? Let's just do it. I have the magnifying glass and um, it's a detective. It's a flyer. I'll take it as a speculative card, but I don't think it's going to make our deck. But I'm doing this for all you dreamers out there. There's another flyer. So we're basically mono black. We're basically mono black here. And we have some ways to get card advantage. So hopefully this works. Hopefully this works. We'll take another long goodbye. That's a Tristani, which is amazing. Obviously, but we can't really take it. Hopefully we table something like the Undercarver Crocodile. But this is another two mana card to play, right? So we have double Extracted Confession, double Long Goodbye with three twos. So looking really, really good there. Repulsive Mutation is quite nice, but don't think I want to take it here. I can consider um, Leering Onlooker. It's between Leering Onlooker or Cold Case Cracker. I actually am not sure. I think it's just a Leering Onlooker. Just another two mana play. I do really like Cold Case Cracker though, but... Where's my mana fixing? I, I, I don't have any mana fixing. I, I mean, I, you just take... Look, there's, there are a few cards in the format where you get it past you and you're like, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna figure it out. I'm just gonna figure it out. I mean, I don't even have that many blue cards. I don't even have that many blue cards. I'll just be... I'll, although to be fair, I'll be giving up a lot. I'll be giving one, two, three, four, five cards. But I, I think I can just, I mean, it's a, it's an Izoni. What am I supposed to do? What, like, I know, you know that you would take the Izoni as well. Okay. We're going to let a time out. And now I just do not know what to do. I will, I will not, I am not lying. There's this Izoni. I have zero mana fixing. We figure it out. So there's a public thoroughfare. Drag the canal is pretty good though. I'm just going to take track the canal. <laughs> Look, I just play two forests, okay? Look, drag... Oh, escape tunnel. Yes. Okay. All right. We're, we're still going to be blue-black here. That's another long goodbye. It's a slice from the shadow. Oh, my God. We have so... We are... We have so much removal. Okay. So, this is our deck right now. Let me uh, sort this. Might not be the best push-pull deck. Not gonna lie. Um, this is our three. There's Drag the Canal. This is a really fun deck. I don't know if it's actually good. I don't think I need Sanitation Automaton. I'll take the Combat Trick. Looks like we could have maybe gone Rakdos. Oh, I do love me a Cold Case Cracker here. I think I like it more than the Crocodile. It's a nice little flyer. Um, so how did this deck end up? Uh, time will tell. Time will tell. Let me read this card. Create a 2-2 detective if a creature died. So worst case scenario, it's a 2-drop, right? It's just a 2-mana detective at instant speed, which is nice. And then the upside is that, um, you gain 2, surveil 2, and you investigate. Wow. Yeah, that, that is a lot of value. You can't fault me for taking that one. Doesn't really feel like a clandestine meddler deck. Can probably cut toxin analysis. Yeah, I think this is our deck. I want to try the... I feel like pull can still be good. So I want to try it. And it's also nice because it's a nice expensive card for uh, for Izoni. I wonder if this is a 18 land deck. Let's take a look here. Our curve actually isn't that high though. Right? Our curve is not that high. Like, we have a ton of things to do on turn two. The Drag the Canal is more of a spell. I mean, you can play it turn two, which is nice, but it's more of a spell that you want to cast after you trade with some of your early creatures. Granite Witness is definitely a three in this deck, but we have some Flyers, we have Izoni. E even, like, if the Izoni dies, can you imagine casting Pull on Izoni? Whew! That is nice. That is nice. We have nine removal spells. Just a really solid blue-black control deck. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Six, eight, two. This gives us three, uh, three green sources for Izoni. That's kind of like the minimum that I want to hit. With double murder, I definitely want a bunch of swamps. The six islands is kind of awkward with the um, granite witnesses, but we don't have that many cards. And I mean, it's still just a face down card. I just really like the fact that in the late game, I mean, you can still flipping this up can help swing races. So I believe I want the granite witness. I could also consider the Basilica Stalker. 
just because it's kind of easy to flip over. I think toxin analysis is a consideration, but our creature count's kind of low. It's pretty nice with uh, um, Leering Onlooker, Unscrupulous Agent, and Fairy Snoops, I guess. But I just think the removal spells are just better for the most part. Maybe I want a Stalker in here. I'm kind of low on creatures. Maybe I want the. Maybe I can cut a removal spell here. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This gives me 12 creatures. Yeah, I think I just want this just as another creature. And I think I'm going to cut a removal spell just because I have so many. Just to have. You know, I have a Homicide Investigator as well. And it's a six mana creature that allows me to extract. It's a detective. It's a flyer. So yeah, I'll probably play this over my worst removal spell, which I believe is a slice. I'll cut a slice. All right, let's try that. I've never had to cut a slice before, but you know, it's you can't collect evidence off of it that well. And we have a lot of other good removal. We have triple long goodbye, which is basically a better slice than a lot of instances. So I think we can cut one. Alrighty. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll keep. It's just removal spells. Just removal spells. This push-pull might be a little bit questionable. I, I, the way I look at it is, it's kind of like a mediocre removal spell, but still gives me the upside of randomly winning late games. So I think because of that, it's worth it. It's, it's either that or the second copy of Slice from the Shadows. I don't think it's going to make or break this deck necessarily. I could play Drag the Canal here turn two. I don't think I want to, though. Yeah, not against Gravestone Strider. Let's go ahead and play Fairy Snoop face down and try to get some value. Fairy Snoop is great in this deck. Helps us find a Zoni. That's, that's kind of how... That is our game plan to win all of our games. Oh, our opponent also playing something kind of controlling. And they hit... What is this? I... Swamp, Plains, Island, Killer... <sighs> All you can do is shake your head. All you can do is shake your head. Mm. I don't think attacking... I don't think trading one for two damage is particularly good. So let's just go ahead and pass here. And nothing really worth long good buying either. So for the most part, like right now, I just want to keep up Murder... And also um, the flip on the fairy Snoop to find some, and a mountain too. I, I, do people do people just randomly toss lands into their decks? Like, I mean, maybe it's just me. I'm just like, why? So many people are trying to draft five colors. Okay, hold on. No, you don't. All right, um, I can pull that. That could be a pretty cool pull target. So a killer among us will definitely be annoying, but we do have a long goodbye in response to the pump, so that's good. Man, my hand is really good. I don't even know what I want to discard. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play this projector inspector. I just don't know what what to. Uh, what to discard. We'll find out. It might be push-pull. I mean, if we draw a land, we can obviously discard that. Okay, we'll just discard that. Definitely play this. And we'll pass. Happy enough trading a projector inspector for something. You know, uh, another thing to consider... Why, they wouldn't attack me here, would they? Uh, is to just kill the Gravestone Strider, but they, they drew all their basics anyways. And why wouldn't they play Killer Among Us? That tells me that they're probably trying to play around a Counterspell. Feels like a good use of this. What can they flip over? Oh, it can be Granite Witness, though. So maybe I should still save this for the Killer Among Us. That's a slice from the shadows, which is also quite nice. Gonna just play a nice control game here. It's a fairy snoop, okay? I don't understand their deck. It's it's white based? 
It's a five color. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Are you ready? It's it, it's a no. There's two, three island. Okay, it's a five color blue white base deck. That's a bold maneuver. Just gonna throw that out there. Let's stack it like that so we get our card first. Okay. Well, maybe we'll find another land here and then we'll just discard. The, I mean, we'll still discard this land. Our hand is loaded. All right, let's kill that. Oh, you know what I actually did not realize about this card? I actually did not realize that this, because I've never played this card, I didn't know that this triggers off of killing your opponent's creatures as well. Well, that makes it way, way better. Do I want to kill this flyer with push? Or do I want to save it for pull? Because pushing it does mean that I can start getting in with my flyers, which is pretty good. Because otherwise I'd have to use like a different removal. But I have a lot of other removal options. Where I think the pull is probably going to be better. Alright. Let's try to get in for some damage. I don't have the tap ability of this up. I don't know if they're going to attack me with this fairy snoop, but... I think I want to keep up Drag the Canal in case they kill one of my creatures. But we are pretty far away from pressuring their life total here. Uh, maybe I wanted to flip up the Granite Witness because that does give me a loot. Inside source, okay. Don't care about that. Why, why are they not playing a killer among us? I, I do not get it. Um, what do we do? Let's target the fairy Snoop. Let's loot. Let's attack. Then we keep up murder. Extract is not looking great here. Another reason to not play the Crime Stopper sprite is we have double extract, and you don't want to play too many like big collect evidence type cards. They saw the line. Cold case cracker. Okay. Hmm. So what am I looking at here? I have so if I murder. If I murder the Fairy Snoop, I can then extract the Cold Case Cracker and still start getting in for damage. So let's do that. Or I can play Cold Case Cracker. I can also extract slash drag, drag the canal, which is not bad either. I guess I can potentially loot and find another Black Source. Let's just play this. Add to the board here. And this is a tough decision with regards to what I want to discard. Um, Fairy Snoop seems very, very good here. So, and I do like Drag the Canal. And I do like Pull. I guess it's Slice. We'll just pass after this. All right, makeshift binding on my Cold Case Cracker, sure. Do I have anything sweet? No, I don't. All right. We're still digging for that Izoni, by the way. Our awesome, awesome win condition. I think um, this turn, my plan is to extract plus drag the canal, potentially. Whoa, gleam. You're sp oh, goodness. Okay. S sorry, I have this. You know, when I just see a complete disregard for... Um, Mana bases, I get a little tilted, I'm not going to lie. Am I still supposed to just save this and play another flyer? 
Like, Granite Witness just puts a lot of pressure, right? I think I'll be able to use this Drag the Canal at some point anyways, but I think I'd rather... I feel like I'd rather just be able to flip up Granite Witness and, and just continue pressuring them. So let's do that. Are player silly enchantment already? Do they not know that they can cast it? There you go. There you go. So this is a 2-2 potentially. We'll take the 2. Oh, that was a really good draw. All right, so let's go ahead and tap the Gleaming Gear Drake. Get in for seven. This card swamp. Well, this is a two turn. This is a two turn clock. Oh, I could, you know what I could have done actually? I could have even pulled this uh, Gleaming Gear Drake. That's like a nice little one-two punch as well. But I kind of wanted to save this long goodbye. Um, or I kind of wanted to use this long goodbye on the 4-4 Death Toucher that's going to attack. Agris is good. They have two cards left in hand. We're pretty close to killing them. What on earth is this attack? What the heck? Okay, so... I guess this could be on the job. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. How can I not die? What if I block here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Um, 19. Do we need to block two things? So 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, I don't know. This attack is kind of wild otherwise, right? All right. That's it? Can I kill them? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four. This is a big turn. Excuse me while I try to figure out what I need to do here. Alternatively, I can just kill the four, four here. But if I block like this, I, and I kill the gear drake, no, let's just keep our life total high. Let's just keep our life total high. Oh, okay. Just an auspicious arrival. All right. Could I draw a land? Oh, long goodbye. Well, if I kept a land, I could have pulled for the win possibly, right? With Vanifar and Cold Case Cracker. The Agris is going to get us pretty good. Let's kill this. Let's attack. And then let's cast this. And hope we're not dead. Um, sure. Let's draw a card. Let's this card, Fairy Snoop. Play the Swamp. And this gives us a pull that can get some flyers from their graveyard, like Cold Case Cracker plus Vanifar potentially. And hopefully that'll be enough for us to win. Now they're at two life as well, so. They're going to kill my inspector, okay. It's got vigilance too, I can't even pull it. Okay. This was a tricky, tricky game. They have a lot of bombs. Which makes sense when you're all the colors. But as long as they don't play a bunch of flyers, that is our game plan here. We have double Granite Witness from our side. Oh, Crime Stopper Sprite. They exiled Cold Case Cracker. Okay. Okay. What are the best targets? All right, they have one blue up. I think we have the win now. I'm going to crack this clue. This is any graveyard, right? Okay, so their graveyard has a gear drake and a... Okay, so I think getting two granite witnesses is best here because they just have a single flyer.
Let me just double check. Gleaming Gear Drake is worse. Vanifar does not win us the game from this spot. So let's just go for it. Uh, let's get a pair of Granite Witnesses. An attack. Woo, close one. Well, happy we played the push pull, right? <laughs> happy we played the push pull. All right, still ranked number four after that win against a, uh, a monstrosity of a deck. Monstrosity of a deck. Okay. Let's see if we can hit at least rank three. Can we at least hit rank three? Opponent going first. Ooh, we have the Azoni. I have a deduce. So I will keep this. Deduce solves all problems, right? Okay, no two drop from them. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just running this out. I mean, obviously they can just have a counter. All right. All right, we have Lazav. Blue, green, green. What do you have? Steam Core Scholar. I don't even need to cast a deuce. That's awesome. I was going to cast a deuce to guarantee myself a clue. But now... They're going to discard. And I can just exile those cards from their graveyard. And... I feel like the way that I lose here... Is like just taking a bunch of beats from the Scholar. Let's make a clue. Oh, this card's so good. So I'm just going to play a face-up Fairy Snoop here. Just for defense. We just have plenty of ways to draw cards. So I'd just rather have something that can block the Steam Core Scholar. And I don't value this card at all, so I will 100% block if they attack me. Airtight Alibi, I guess, would be annoying. Yeah. But their attack is free, so... It's 100% free. Is this a is this a hard hitting questions? <laughs> sure. You got me. And now a face down card from the opponent. Hmm. Here's my question. Like am I happy trading Lazav? for the face down card and getting another clue. I feel like that's just enough value. You know what I mean? I'm just going to try to minimize their evidence collection. If they double block, it's really bad. And if I have an instant speed removal spell, it's super bad. Yeah, so they can't even afford the block there, which is good for us. Get in, and yep, it's another face-up Fairy Snoop situation here. Blocking again. And with this mana, especially because they played the Escape Tunnel, I can block the Face Down card too, if I wanted. But if they attack with both, I can just block the Steam Core Scholar. All right. Man, this Snoop getting us so much value. Or this Lazav, rather. Oh, and Leering Onlooker is a great blocker, too. Oh, this is an out cold. Okay. No. Oh, Exit Specialist. Sh sure. Okay. We are just we're just playing creatures, right? All these creatures are doing an excellent job of blocking what they have. We're up two clues on the exchange. So things are looking still pretty good for us. Now, interestingly enough, we haven't drawn one of our many removal spells. Like at this point, I am thinking that they're going to play something big pretty soon. There it is. 
Killer Among Us. Ooh, Slice from the Shadows is nice against Killer Among Us specifically. I'm going to continue attacking. Keep getting clues. I think, honestly, I think I, this is enough clues for me to win the game with. You know what I mean? I'd rather save Slice from the Shadows here for the Killer Among Us. <laughs> Double murder on top? Don't mind if I do. I mean, th th this is just kind of a run them out of resources type of situation. We are the ultimate Demir control deck here. Interesting. Okay. Uh, all right. I don't like the attack with both tokens. I guess they just feel desperate. Like, they're like, okay, I, I just need to get something going here, probably, is their thought process. Let's attack with the 2-2. Two -two. And let's pass. Keep up murder. And we're going to start slowly eating through these clues. Hotshot Investigators, that's pretty good. Yep. All right, so let's go ahead and crack a clue. We're going to murder this. Keep the board clear, especially because we have the backup murder. If I don't draw a land here, I might just crack a clue main phase, but we drew a land here, so we're just going to... Oh, this feels so great. I feel like I'm playing a constructed deck. <laughs> Look at my hand. I got a deduce and a murder. Three clues in play. I'm just up so many cards. Lazav like traded with a creature, a token, and got us three clues. Topiary Panther. Let's uh, draw a card in response. Okay. Panther's good. Gonna murder that too. All right, um, let's play a face down creature and let's pass. Would like to draw a green source here at some point to be able to get this Azoni. They have a good deck though. We're, we can only draw four more cards. We can only draw four more cards. We have three green sources in our deck, so. What the heck? Okay. Oh, it could be a mutation. Yeah. No. It feels like a mutation, right? I mean, who knows? It could be a sweeper, I guess. Sweeper's not that great here. I can just make two one ones. Hotshot in what are you bound? Uh, I guess they're bouncing leering onlooker. You got it. Crack a clue. Green source. Oh. Deduce. Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, I have access to 8 mana, so I'm just going to flip this up, smack, uh, I'll keep extract and we will play a face down card. Just using our mana every single turn if possible, we're at 21 life. Don't really care about taking damage here from the investigators. 
Fairy Snoop can still get in front of the Steam Core Scholar if they choose to attack. And then we, of course, have Push Pull as an option. We can get Hotshot Investigators and Panther, which is quite nice. All right, Burden of Proof, you got me. And a face down card from the opponent. Hmm. This could be a granite witness. That would make push pull really bad. They're at 11 life. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's the play. Oh, wait, they only have one in the yard, right? Yeah, yeah, that's still the play. Let's go ahead and cast pull. Let's get panther and investigators. And let's attack. It's a lethal attack. And then if they trade the face down card, we can still cast Extract the Confession. Woo! All right. Hey, push pull. I'm just going to throw that out there. Push pull doing some serious work here in these matchups. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It's got that flexibility, right? If you're just if you're just black, you can do both. And uh, it's it's won us both of our games. All right, on the play here, solid hand, removal. We got removal, onlooker, fairy snoop. We drew the forest, so if we draw the Azoni, we're good. Can play the leering onlooker here. Get the fairy snoop. This is a, I'm just, you know, this deck just looks it feels really smooth, right? It just feels like a really, really smooth. We have a really nice curve, lots of good cheap removal, some card draw, right? We got the deduce, double snoop, and the Lazav. And maybe I should have. The thing is, if it's like a gadget technician, it's kind of annoying. So I just feel like it's unlikely that I'm going to block against a red-green deck here until I have mana for murder. So I just attack, t knowing that I'm likely going to take two damage here. Oh, that I'm killing right away. Um, Attacking with both. Okay, so the reason why I did that is this could be a crocodile, right? And or or so I just felt like it's unlikely that they block with the gossip, and I was gonna murder the gossip anyways. So this way I get to get in for more damage, and then we murder the gossip, and uh, we get to get in for maximum damage because I'm not gonna be able to have the mana to block this face down card. Is this Jaybro? Look at all the different. Look at all the different basic lands. That's what Jaybro did on Magic Online. All right, they kept the card on top, three cards in hand. We are a little bit flooded here. But we do have this Fairy Snoop that we can flip up. That's another face down card. So with like removal, okay. Let's, you know, Actually, I think it's probably better to just leave up all my mana and pass. Because they don't know what my face down card is, right? So this could be a bubble smuggler. So this has the highest chance of minimizing the damage that I take. But in a pretty precarious spot, because red-green has just a lot of offender at large... Undercover Crocodile, Crowd Control Warden. There's just a bunch of big, like, 5-5 five, five or bigger cards. Now it can be a Rift Burst Hellion. Where, oh, yes. 
Oh, that's so good. Let's cast a deuce. I think I want to look at two cards now, though. We did. We were successfully able to prevent a lot of damage, though. I'll take a removal cell, okay, or a projector inspector. That's great when I have these lands in my hand. All right, let's go ahead and play a projector inspector. I can discard this forest. Okay, Lazav is quite good. I can't cast Lazav and drag the canal, huh? Okay, we'll discard the forest. I'll cast Lazav. I feel like we're going to take a lot of damage, though. But it is what it is. I'm going to just pass. They're going to start flipping over big things. I mean, Leering Onlooker can, uh, can go down here. We have the Granite Witness to buy us a little bit of time. Wow, really interesting that they flipped up neither. You know what I mean? So I feel like one of them... Well, what the heck is this? Oh my, oh, and it's a Green Bell Radical? No, Culvert Ambusher. Holy cow. All right, so that's going to force Lazav to block. All right, this is a big turn for them. Lazav has to just block a creature, right? All right, so I want to put Projector Inspector on Automaton probably. So I'm thinking, like, block here. I want to kill the face down card for sure. And then we can block like that. And they kill the Lazav and that's it. And then this kills the Automaton. Is there a better block? This is a 6-7. I just can't deal 7 damage to this without this killing 2 things. So we'll just have to deal with this 4 or 5 at some point later. But this is okay. We kill the... I mean, they basically have Culvert Ambusher and we have Leering Onlooker, Onlooker plus Fairy Snoop. And then... What do they have? Felonious Rage? Okay. I guess they get a 2-2 out of this exchange. And they kill Leering Onlooker. What was their face down card? Sanguine Savior? Did not expect that. So this is five mana. All right. Yeah, so that's the plan here. Um, let's play Granite Witness face down. And then we can flip this up and tap the Culvert Ambusher. And then crack a clue. Alternatively, we can make two one ones. Red Herring. Okay. Okay, right, they're just cracking it, sure. Wait. That's really interesting. I can I can cast drag the canal now. But I don't hmm. No, I'm still going to wait. I have a lot of removal. This just seems really good, right? Like, I tap that, I take four less damage. I have a 3 2 flying vigilance creature, and I crack my clue. And my deck has a lot of removal. Shock? I don't know what this is. Okay. Just, just an attack. Okay. Slice from the shadows. Uh, that is not a good card. 
So let's see. We can slice for a ton. Um, I don't want to play the unscrupulous agent. I'll just pass. Let's see. I have how much mana? Five, seven mana? My turn. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, that's a two turn clock. Oh, I should have cast the agent. <laughs> All right, we'll cast it. It's a land. All right, we're looking pretty good here now. We still have Slice from the Shadows available. Unscrupulous agent will just chump lock the Culvert Ambusher. Honestly, I can just I can just trade with this and take six. Did they draw fanatical strength? The chase is on. We are one mana short of being able to kill it. Um, huh. What can their last card be? I mean, I can slice this to make it really small. If they shock me, what happens? That's bad. Ay, ay, ay. If they sh have a shock. All right, let's just... Let's just shrink this down. All right. All right. Ooh, that, that was closer than I thought it'd be. Okay. 3-0 and got us to rank number three. Rank number three with Saltai Control, but not the Saltai that you're used to, right? Most Saltai decks are blue-green, splash, black. We're blue-black, splashing Izoni. We have yet to cast the Izoni. But we had it in our hand once. It would have been awesome if we drew the green source. But this deck's still uh, playing out very, very smoothly so far. Alrighty. Uh, no island, but we have three black spells that we can cast. So we'll just keep this deduce on the back burner. In I one island would be nice, but two swamps, the forest, leering onlooker, long goodbye, and murder should keep us afloat until we draw the blue source to be able to cast our deduce. Homicide Investigator, ooh. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill that now. The thing, I have, like, murder is a better use of my mana, but this can just kill bigger things, so. Down a card, down a card. We need to draw our island to uh, go back up a card here. Or catch up. Catch up, rather. Yeah, it's like killing a novice inspector. We killed a novice inspector. Although this is better than novice inspector, probably. Makeshift binding. You know, that's really interesting. You know, I don't have anything else to do. I'm just going to kill this. I want to make two 1-1 one -one flyers. I think that's better than just like killing the... And I, because I don't have any other good plays, because we're only drawing swamps, I think that's better on average than just using this as a removal spell. Like if I draw a land, at least have it be an, an island. You know what I mean? All right, fine. Well, at least the nice thing about the Snoop is that you can flip it up for black. 
Because apparently we're playing Golgari. We are Golgari gamers. Interesting. Well, they can't kill my face down card. That's the big thing. They'll kill a bat, though. They're getting so much value off all these... Oh, man. I can't complain anymore. I officially cannot complain anymore. <laughs> it's Oni. There it is. I mean, even, even if they kill it, they're 13, right? Even if they kill it, they're 13. And they have to kill it. This is an extract that looks like... Oh, extract is fantastic, though, because they can still double spell this turn. But we have two Menace and a Flyer and Fairy Snoop as well on top of that. So let's flip this up. And like literally everything that I have in play is like an evasive card. So they're going to take six damage here. And then do I want Granite Witness or Basilica Stalker? I think I want the Stalker. I don't even, mostly because I don't have the second blue anyways to flip this up. This feels like, uh, oh, ooh, that's also quite nice. Is this lethal? I don't know. I don't know if it is. Okay. <laughs> All right, cast is Oni and then some things and then we won and now we're still ranked three. We are cruising. Cruising so far, we are sitting at 4 and 0 oh with our control deck. Let's keep it going. All right, opponent instantly found. I haven't been able to play Azoni in a while, so this is this is nice. All right, this hand uh, can there definitely potential to not being able to get there with this hand if I don't draw like swamp. But if I do, then I'm looking okay here. Oh, I, I didn't need to kill that now. Whatever. Down a card again. Okay. Well, what a what a great start, by the way. Turn two Gleaming Gear Drake, turn three Scholar. I don't want to get countered. I just want to survive. I want to keep my life total high. They're playing blue. So I'm just I'm just killing everything. Interesting that they're cracking a clue after discarding two lands. Like they have to have land. If they don't have a land, this was like the greediest discard ever. They have to have a land. This is this is an escape tunnel here, right? No, they would have escape tunneled first. I, I don't I don't I don't know. I don't I don't know why I'm even bothered trying to figure out what it is. All right, cold case cracker for us. Obviously, we are just playing the game of hope to draw a forest at some point, but our hand is fantastic. Dramatic accusation, but they didn't leave up double blue, so they're playing something. Um, yeah, ooh, I can push my cold case cracker to make a clue. Seems weak. I'm just going to cast Unscrupulous Agent. Should be pretty good here. I think they have mostly action. Oh, wow. They they went six, seven, eight, nine lands. Wow. They've gone through a lot of lands. So that's fairly unfortunate. Dramatic Accusation, and really great answer to the Cold Case Cracker. I don't get my clue. They can shuffle it back in. I'm happy enough trading here if they want. Because I Mostly because I want to cast Drag the Canal. Do you have a counter? Unreasonable doubt? Interesting. That's interesting. Do I want that on top? Oh man, this card, it, I mean, it is a good card. But 
You know, I actually don't think I do. I'd rather just give myself more outs to drawing lands to be able to cast my Azoni. And it, like, I'm going to need to wait for another instance where I can like kill something and cast that card. This is why Long Goodbye, though, is also kind of not great. Um, just because, um, like, this could just be Granite Witness or something, and or a Gadget Technician, and I just can't use this Long Goodbye. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, that's my plan. I'm going to untap my cold case cracker. And when they shuffle it back in, I'll use long goodbye to kill the face down card. Let's see what it was. Oh, it was a bubble smuggler. Okay. I guess we would have gotten it no matter what. I thought that was somewhat clever. <laughs> Force the action there a little bit, right? Do, do we have something worth push-pulling here? There's a Steam Core Scholar and a Gleaming Gear Drake. That does let me, like, dig. And it gives me a clue. Is that worth it? Probably. It's not the best. But it just, it's six mana. It gets me even closer to finding something, potentially. If I can find a spell to discard off the Scholar, that would be awesome. Oh, flying creature, yes! And then we drew the forest for Azoni! Oh my gosh, that's awesome. It's an out cold here, maybe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, got the counter on the thing. Okay. Don't have a counter. Don't have a counter. Looks like they have a counter. That's unfortunate. All right. I mean... I don't feel like I should be playing around, um, I don't feel like I should be playing around Reasonable Doubt there. It's like, there was another opportunity for them to cast that card, so I feel like they just drew it. So, it is what it is. It's okay, I think we are doing just fine here. Bite down on crime maybe to kill my Granite Witness. Sure looks that way. Yep. Okay. Leering Onlooker and Homicide Investigator. Oh my gosh, what a top deck. Evidence Examiner, are you serious? With Hedge Whisperer? Oh my gosh. I don't think they're attacking me though, are they? That's insane. I mean, I kind of have to kill this evidence examiner or else they're going to claw back with all the cards. I mean, alternatively, I can kill Hedge Whisperer and hit them for six. And then just kind of force the action. Actually, yeah, that's probably better. All right. Happy with that trade? 
And I mean, I'll play this. I don't think I'm going to loot, though. I have more than enough things in my graveyard. So I, there's just no reason for me to mill the top card of my library. But I just want to play an extra threat here. Wow. That was a fantastic sequence of draws from the... Oh my, Are you kidding me? <laughs> what is going on? I was like... I felt so far ahead. Holy cow. That's unbelievable. Can we still come... Can we still... I mean... We were enough ahead where we might still be okay. Maybe they'll just deck. Right? We like we could just potentially deck them here. Although they, they can choose not to draw. Okay, they're choosing not to draw. Because the card that they drew was really good. Right. That's unbelievable though. Wow. Oh, man. Okay. Let's keep the board clean. I think I'm going to save this extract. Um, they probably kept like a big creature in their hand. So I'll save that. Then I'll block here and I'll just make some 1-1s. One -ones. Okay. I think I would have cracked the clue first, but it is what it is. Man, reasonable doubt on my Zoni. Just like... The timing for everything in this game has just been so awkward. What is... Oh, B2 Gazi Inspector. Okay. All right. Can we draw out of this? I don't know. I don't think I've ever beaten a doppelganger before, so we'll see. I need some really excellent draw steps here. No, these lands will not get it done, unfortunately. Yeah, back-to-back -back lands. Definitely not the answer. They're probably just getting rid of the projector inspector here. Damn. All right. Well, you know what? It took a... Uh... It took a doppelgang for us to kind of get out of our streak, right? But I still think our deck is fantastic. It, it took um, it took doppelgang and our Izoni to get counterspelled. And it was a top decked counterspell because they had the sudden set back there. Um, so it was a top deck counterspell plus doppelgang to get us out of this. Although granted, if they doppelgang my Azoni, that would have been really bad too. They had a good deck though. For the, yeah, yeah, they had a good deck. I, I, I generally don't like sudden setback, but I mean, your deck cannot be that bad when you have doppelgang in it. All right, Vengeful Creeper. Can't attack. They can tap a thing. We prevent some damage. We go to three. Flip this up. I have no idea what we can draw. Probably nothing.
Just speed running through this. Let's see. They kill a thing. They tap a thing and they attack us with everything. So what was the red card for? Was it really Gleaming Gear Drake? That seems like a poor splash. All right, GG's, doppelgang for two, getting it done once again. Getting it done once again. All right, still rank three though, that's good. Let's uh, win three in a row here and just close it out strong, seven and one. Okay. As is expected from our deck, it's a handful of removal spells and a way to get ahead on cards, maybe. Double long goodbye, extract the confession with the fairy snoop. We have the early game covered. Planes from the opponent. Probably red white, we'll see. Nope, it's a public thoroughfare deck. Gonna play some face down snoops and uh, get my value engines going. Let's get to that late game. Man, when I cast that when I cast that poll on the Steam Core Scholar and discarded my Basilica Stalker, I thought we were so good. I thought we were so good. Huh. Is this an extract or a long goodbye? It's kind of weird. I think it's a long goodbye. I'm kind of scared of, like, of the long-term value that these cards give me. So I'm going to just use it now because I think I can long goodbye again. Wow, it was a dog walker. That's really nice. And the, way I the reason why I cast a long goodbye is I think I can cast... There's a pretty decent chance that I can cast another long goodbye here to double spell this turn, which I like. All right, that was a good turn. We went double long goodbye. And it was another dog walker. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Let's play another face down snoop. And yeah, things are very smooth here. Our opponent's stuck on three lands. And um, we can start flipping up some snoops. We have extract the confession. What are they? They are white, white, maybe white, green, splash, black for a Zoni. Please, please don't be a Zoni. All right, another face down card. Is this one a Nervous Gardener? Although I feel like they would have used, used they would have done Nervous Gardener already, but I don't know. Let's uh, edict them. Crowd Control Warden. All right, we're just going to keep adding to the board. If they have a sweeper, they have a sweeper. Like, no witnesses, obviously, would be quite bad. Nope, it's simply a case of the uneaten feast. All right. Three, four, five, six. All right, let's tap it down, attack for seven, and then end of turn, we can start flipping over. We can flip over a fairy snoop here. And uh, yeah, we'll be looking pretty good. They're gonna keep this back. And yeah, we're going to just start flipping over flyers. They have four mana up and they passed. I don't know what they could have. Whoa. I think at this point, the cold case cracker probably has a little bit more value. It just flies and it gets me a clue when it dies. But that's kind of a tough choice, I will say.
All the flyers. They're just going to go to one? Holy cow. Um... I mean, was your turn seriously keep up mana to cast no more lies? That is so insane to me. Okay. They have a bunch of... They have a public thoroughfare. I'm surprised they couldn't cast anything out of their hand. Other than keeping up a counterspell. But, yeah. Anyways. We'll take it. No questions. We are now 5-1. and one, Two more to go. Alrighty. 5-1. and one. We have playable card. Oh, wait. I just realized that we don't have any swamps. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. We have Fairy Snoop that we can flip up. We have lots of black sources in our deck. Nine. We're on the draw. Like, I really dislike mulliganing with, the, with like, every card is just so important in these controls. I'm just going to keep. I got a, I got a Fairy Snoop. Lots of black sources. Easy game. Easy game, easy life. Just draw it right away. <laughs> Face up nervous gardener. All right, all right. I see, I see you. That is a declaration of war. They're just like... I am beating you down, friend. I'm beating you down. I'm gonna cast some combat tricks here. Uh, you got you're gonna play another two drop here? No, no two drop. Let's play this. Hmm. Oh, I can play it. I can. the thing is, they can't kill this end of turn. And we're at 20 still. They didn't play a creature that turn, so I think we're okay. No blocks this time. I want to get some value here. Swamp would be great. Person of interest is phenomenal, though. Hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. Not ideal, not an ideal spot, I will say. I want to be able to cast Drag the Canal, but I just don't have a good window here. I'm going to pass. The reason being is... I'm going to block, and if they have a combat trick, then afterwards I can cast Drag the Canal, Surveil, Investigate, and that'll help me kind of unlock my hand, I think. I'm not going to flip it over either. I just want to take the trade. They passed. And now we can cast the Drag the Canal. Oh, that's pretty good. I think I want to just keep both, to be honest. Draw a card. Let's cast Push. Huh. Sure. Okay. And probably save the extract. Probably just want to go ahead and fire off this unscrupulous agent. All right. It's a forest. We still have this leering onlooker. Lots of options here. And we have ways to kill big creatures. 
We just don't have that, that many large creatures of our own. Okay. Um, let's attack. And I'm going to go ahead and play the Granite Witness here. Because I'm just going to tap this and I, I want to flip this up to have a flyer anyways. And let's see what they do. Three cards in hand for the opponent. We have plays... For the next few, oh, that's that's incredible. All right, torch to witness from the opponent. That's a nice two for one. Fairy Snoop is fantastic. Let's go ahead and attack for one. Play Fairy Snoop face down, and we'll pass with murder up. If they attack me, I think I'm just going to block and flip it up. Let's put the deuce into our hand. All right. We're doing the control thing. We're doing the control thing now. Was that, was, was that a good draw? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep, we're gonna... Yep, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna Izoni real quick here and uh, pass the turn. It's your turn, friend. Oh, just stretch. Put a little spider maybe in front of this thing and just move on. Yeah. All right. I mean, they could have another torch, I guess. They definitely need one here. I can't, I, I don't think red green would play suspicious. Wow! You know, every time I feel like I have the game locked in with the Zoni, my opponents just have the answer. All right. Well, this time at least it resolved, so I still got some value here. I'm going to cast the deuce to try to hit land drops, especially if I draw a swamp. Um, I want to keep up my mana here. I could have played Projector Inspector, but this is a little bit better if I have some lands to loot away. I'd rather just play Leering Onlooker. Or make a bunch of tokens with Leering Onlooker, rather. Wow, okay. They're rebuilding. They are rebuilding. They're at 14, we're at 12. We've got a lot of evasive things going on here too. That's good as well. Let's attack with certainly those two. Um, do I want to attack with my 1-4 flyer as well? No. I think the 1-4 flyer is just such an excellent blocker on this board. And then I'm going to just go ahead and play Basilica Stalker here face down. And then keep up murder. This seems like an excellent opportunity to keep up murder slash long goodbye. With uh, Clue Crack available. Red Green has lots of good tricks. And... We are the one that's ahead on board, so it's kind of on our opponent to cast a combat trick here to try to push through damage. I just don't think they have great attacks. If they, if they do attack, then it does mean that they have some kind of a combat trick, probably. Like, pretty safe block here with uh, Fairy Snoop plus Unscrupulous Agent. Sample collector, okay. Let's 
kill that. I guess I could have murdered. If I murdered, I could have, like, long goodbye plus extract and attack with everything. Um, kind of just trying not to lose. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I could have attacked with this too, but I think, uh, like I said, I'm just taking kind of the most conservative route here. And I will play Projector Inspector and keep up murder and murder something end of turn. I think I could have taken definitely a more uh, aggressive line there. I'm going to just keep all my removal spells. I know Homicide Investigator is awesome, but... Okay, this is, they're, I mean, they're definitely conceding, right? <laughs> Why would you attack with this thing? Oh, airtight alibi, I guess? It has to be, right? Oh, maybe not. Good game! Good game. Just opponent with a pretty straightforward red-green deck. Still rank three. Got to resolve his Zoni here. His Zoni is great. Like I said, you take it and you figure it out. And we are six and one, playing for a trophy. Really, really needed this because the last few videos just haven't been great, right? I think it was like four, three, four, three, and a three, three. So it's nice to at least have the six wins here and set ourselves, put, put ourselves into a position for a trophy run. All right, six and one, playing for the trophy. Can we get there? We have the escape tunnel, we have Lozav and a bunch of removal spells. Would like a second black source here to cast the two murders in my hand, but I'm certainly keeping this. We have turn two Lozav into long goodbye to clear the way to make some clues. So this hand basically is just hoping that my opponent doesn't have a way to kill my Lozav. All right, so they're blue red, most likely with turn one case of the Filch Falcon. I'm going to just go ahead and crack this and go get my swamp. Don't counter it. All right, they have the counter. Wait, no counter? They might have a bounce spell. Tempo me? Yeah, they have a bounce spell. Oh, well. They kept on top. Here comes a face down card. Most likely. Crime Stopper Sprite, not a face down card. It's actually kind of interesting. <laughs> they tapped the, it, it, they they tapped the Crime Stopper sprite. Um, I think for like mana value reasons, I can either murder or play Granite Witness here. Hmm. I'm gonna. You know, this is very odd. But I think we win the late game, so I want to minimize the damage that I take. I think they mulligan too. I'm not sure. So I'm going to just kill that I have, because I have the second murder. And then I also have um, Lozav plus Long Goodbye as the play for this turn, which I like. Plays around Unreasonable Doubt. Then we can start going to town here with the Lozav if they don't have a way to kill it. All right. Knife. Nice. Are they going to crack the knife as well? Okay. All right, let's go ahead and kill that too. Yeah, now things are looking great. Things are looking great. What is this when something dies, right? Okay, so let's attack. 
Let's exile Crime Stopper Sprite. Smack them for two. And, hmm. I can either play Granite Witness or Projector Inspector. I'll just play Granite Witness. I don't mind playing this later when I have lands to loot through. And I want to keep up Drag the Canal here in case they kill my Lazav. Because that's going to be super nice. Detective Satchel would be very bad. That would turn on Case of the Filge Falcon and give them a bunch of cards. So that's something that we don't want to see. The what is Cornered Crook or whatever, that would be pretty good. Oh. Shocking my Granite Witness. Okay. That is fine. Not much we can do about that. But we can still cast Drag the Canal and get some value. Unless they have a Counterspell. Not going to play around Counterspell. If they do, then they're empty-handed and we still have Lazav just generating, generating a clue every turn. Oof, Lazav. Lazav, Lazav, Lazav. Don't need those Swamps. Drag the Canal, by the way, highest win rate card in blue-black. Highest win rate card in blue-black. I, I don't know where the Lazav is. Drag the Canal is number one. Coerce the Kill is number two. And then Lazav is number three. So we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. Let's just exile the most expensive cards here to lower their evidence stuff. I'm going to crack a clue here first just to give me potentially another... Oh, I could have... Yeah. Whoops. That, I messed up. Well, I guess they could have shocked it. But um, I could have hit them for one extra point of damage by copying the Jaded Analysis after attackers. But let's go ahead and play Projector Inspector. My hand is loaded. I don't know what I'm going to... Jeez. Uh... I guess long goodbye. <laughs> Like, I kind of want to get another creature in play, if possible. And pull can be useful if they somehow sweep the board. And I get Lazav back, attack, make a clue. All right, Lazav is, in fact, down. And they played a face-down card. I don't know what this face-down card is, but I do have murder. I think I'm just going to cast this face up. Let's loot. Let's uh, discard that. I think push-pull is going to be good, so I'm going to keep it. I think given how low their life total is, it's just gonna we're going to get to a spot where it's going to be really useful. And our opponent got flooded and we got there! 7 and 1. Still rank 3. I don't know who's number 2. We all know Eakin's number 1. I don't know who number two is, but I'm I'm catching up. I'm getting close. I'm getting close and seven and one with a color that you all know I dislike drafting. This was the deck. This was the deck. But I mean, black was so unbelievably open and we took a shot this time. I told you. I mean, if it was the Pro Tour, maybe I just first picked the Gleaming Gear Drake. But I said, look, let's have a little fun. Homicide Investigator is really, really sweet. This is one of the cards that makes me want to go into uh, black. And we ended up with Homicide Investigator, Lazav, and Izoni as the top end win condition on the splash, Drag the Canal. We had all these removal. I mean, look at this. Double Murder Slice, Double Extract, Triple Long Goodbye. That's eight removal spells, right? Eight removal spells with a push pull for the late game. We had card advantage. Uh, we basically killed everything. And the deck just played out exactly the way that we wanted it to, right? Kill some stuff early, play some fairy snoops, draw some cards, find your bombs, and win in the late game. And that's exactly what happened. Now, I will say, this is more of an anomaly than what you should normally consider, right? Black was so open that we just got everything, and 
this was carried by our rares. We had Izoni, Lazav, which was incredible, Homicide Investigator, and Drag the Canal. And if you just draft a blue-black deck with a bunch of removal spells without some of these bombs, it's not going to get there. It just isn't, right? But fortunately for us, we were able to pick up some of these rares to get us there. And that's how I end up in black, by the way. I don't accidentally end up in black going, ooh, extract the confession. I'm never going to do that, right? But if I open Lazav, right, or get past Lazav, or get um, Coerced to Kill with the Drag the Canal, that's when I go, okay, this is clearly open, this is my lane, and I do have a rare that makes me go into these color combinations. If blue-black is open and I'm only seeing commons and uncommons, like, I still just don't think you're going to be able to draft a good trophy deck because of how shallow the, the power level of the black cards tend to be. But we were able to get there here, we were successful, and I am... Once again, really thrilled that we were able to get this trophy with our Demir deck, splashing the Izoni. This was one of the smoothest runs ever. And our one loss came to the, lo the opponent that played a Doppelgang, which, fair play. Doppelgang is awesome. Losing to Doppelgang, I don't mind, because it's my favorite card in the set. If my opponent has it, good for you. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Feel free to hit the like or subscribe button for more daily videos just like this. If you enjoyed this content and wanted to support the channel, I did launch a Patreon channel, so the link is in the description below. Shout out to all the patrons. Thank you for all your support. 7-1, rank 3, getting close to rank 2. I feel it. I feel it. But maybe we'll get there tomorrow. I'll catch you later.